the second Spider-Man No Way Home trailer drops tonight. Ah, oh my God! The best geek news. Hello, hello, it's episode 489, let's go. The highly anticipated second trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home is coming and everyone's speculating over whether or not Andrew and Toby are going to appear. Multiple sources have told me they will not be appearing in the trailer, but some other surprises will be. Either way, we don't have to wait long as the trailer drops tonight at 8.30 Eastern time, so it's very likely it's already out by the time you've seen this, but if not, set your clocks. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. A couple of days ago on Facebook, Barry Cogan's own brother Eric seemingly outed Barry as secretly playing Joker in the Batman, which has been a very popular fan theory as of late. Whether or not his brother was joking, I don't know. What I do know is I got a chance to talk to Barry and ask him about the Batman and all I'll say is I got shut down so fast. I loved also that this is like the first Marvel movie that makes DC references and you're actually going to be in the Batman too. That's which no, is I wild. Can't talk about, we can't talk you, about that. You can't talk about the Batman? Mm -mm. Wait till they get a load of me. All right, maybe not Joker, but you can't tell me something's not up. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? In a recent interview on Jake's Takes, Halle Berry revealed she wouldn't mind another crack at Catwoman and would even want to direct it. You know, while I applaud her enthusiasm, let's just go ahead and flush that idea. If you haven't got a chance to subscribe to Paramount Plus yet, the time to do so is imminent as we have our first teaser for the upcoming Halo series coming in 2022, and just hearing the words Master Chief got me all excited. It was recently rumored that Bill Murray had joined the cast of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and now Paul Rudd is here to dispel that rumor, claiming it's just a rumor, and he thinks it's a simple case of cross-pollination. Bummer. Speaking of Bill Murray, I recently had a chance to talk with the cast of Ghostbusters Afterlife, which hits theaters this week, and I asked Finn Wolfhard and McKenna Grace about the legend that is Bill Murray. Check it out. I, uh, I'm pretty obsessed uh, with these, like this legend of Bill Murray. Like I always hear about these Bill Murray stories. So do you guys have any sort of cool, funny Bill Murray stories from getting to hang oh, out with him on set? We have, we have a few. You. We have a few. Remember his birthday? His birthday, yeah. His let's birthday. tell his birthday story. Yeah, yeah. He, he was on set for his birthday, luckily. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I imagine we got to be there for Bill Murray's birthday. And he hired a bagpiper to follow to him follow around. To follow him around. He, it was not like anybody else did it. He hired a he bagpiper. Hired it, but like, he pretended like he wasn't behind him. Like yeah, he, he just pretended that the bagpiper wasn't, wasn't there. there. So, he so he talked to like normal normal the whole time. He just yeah. walked around with this bagpiper. And, and at lunch, like, we were all just sitting there. And all of a sudden, you just hear, yeah, and, really you hear, like, and he just really walks out. in, and he's just, like, getting like getting lunch, food, getting us lunch. And it was the funniest thing ever, dude. And he, everybody's, like, to great lengths. And then after that. And then he sat down his plate, and he went, I'm going to sing for everyone. And everybody was, like, okay. So all he, right. He sung a song And it was us. surprising. Really it was really beautiful. good. Yeah, it was really, it was really, really good. It was really beautiful. He sung, like, a Scottish, old Scottish anthem. And he... Yeah did that and then jason got him um the entire calgary stampede uh cheerleader team to come and take a picture with him which is really funny classic mm -hmm. bill murray in a recent interview with esquire the rock spoke about his grandfather and how he played a bond villain in one of the sean connery films and how he'd love to do the same except he doesn't want to play a villain he wants to be the next james bond how about new? Finally, it pains me to tell you this, but the Cowboy Bebop series is sitting at a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know if the critics were anime purists or maybe they don't like anime at all, but it's clearly not living up to the reputation of its predecessor. Bummer. Hope you enjoyed your show. Follow Chris on Instagram at CK Comedy and me at Laser Unicorns. And thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news.